Meta AI has launched a new speech to text model that supports 1100 languages, like 1100 languages. So look at the map. This is quite massive and amazing. And look at the demo. It's very impressive. You can you can actually see people speaking in languages that I've never heard about and Meta AI's new massively multilingual speech. They call it MMS. MMS can support these languages. I would strongly encourage you to watch the demo. And uh, the, the most important thing here is that this model is open source. The model weights are available and anybody can literally go now download the model and start using the model. And they've also given you certain tips about fine tuning all these things. To start with, uh, Jan Likun, who is head of Meta AI, has made this announcement that massively multilingual speech, MMS, can do speech to text and text to speech, or speech to text and text to speech in 1100 languages. 1100 languages. Imagine 1100 languages. And it can recognize 4000 spoken languages. Before this, I didn't know that we have 4000 languages. My bad. The code and models are available under CC by NC 4.0 license, quite an open source license. The most important aspect is OpenAI has got Whisper. I'm a big fan of Whisper and half the word error rate of Whisper. And it's not just, you know, he just sent it for PR. You can see in a like for like comparison with OpenAI Whisper, we found that Meta, Meta's MMS models trained on massively multilingual speech data achieve half the error rate, half the error rate, but MMS covers 11 times more language. So while it has half the error rate, it can also cover 11 times more languages than Whisper, making it the really popular com competitor for Whisper. I mean, it's it's an open source model in uh, in all sense, but you can see that it's, it's like Meta is not backing down in this AI race. And you can see all the details about the error rates and perform uh, percentages and all the information. Um, most important thing is the kind of languages that they're supporting and uh, you can see the world map. And if you know that Facebook already had an initiative called NLLB, NLLB which is uh, to say no language left behind. And today you can see, let me pause this. And today you can see that this MMS, this, this model that they've released can support more 1100 languages. And this is one of the demos that they're showing in a one and a half minute video. And how did they achieve this? According to them, they combined wave two, wave 2.0 with uh, their other uh, data set and other label information. And they created this new massively multilingual speech models that completely outperforms existing models and cover 10 or 11 times more languages than the existing models. And like I said, all the information about this model are released as part of their fair sick um, repository. So you can go download the PyTorch weight. They have released two checkpoints. One is a 300 million parameter model. The second one is a billion parameter model. And you can also learn here and how to fine tune the models. Like if you have got any lang, I'm not, I'm not sure like why will I fine tune further given the given the versatility that they are covering. But yeah, if you if you have a language and if you want to cover that, you can go here and then see. So it can do text to to speech as well. And you can see how to do that. Let me know in the comment section if you would uh, love to see a hands on video about using MMS Facebook's new massively multilingual speech. But I just wanted to give the news out. So in case if you want to try it out while I'm sleeping or I'm doing something else, you should definitely write out. This seems quite impressive to be honest. It can do speech to text, text to speech and a lot more. And you can see the coverage that is it has got. I'm from India and to see it representing a lot of languages that people even do not know that it exists is I think quite brilliant and amazing from Meta. So I would love to see more of these kind of innovations from Meta. Let me know in the comment section if you have any language that you didn't know before. I mean, you didn't know that there there is a speech to text that exists and you can see here. So the paper and uh, the GitHub link are at the end of the blog post. Let me know in the comment section. What do you feel about it? See you in another video. Happy prompting.